Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be reading a very ironic article and you'll see why in a second. So this article in The Atlantic is called, Is It Okay to Say Hey Guys? Um, so clearly you see the irony now. So let's go through this. The problem with hey guys, a broad coalition of English speakers, teachers, retail workers, ice cream scoopers, and plenty of others is grasping for a more inclusive greeting. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Okay guys, a female coworker of mine recently began as she addressed me and a female colleague. Then she stopped herself, said she was making an effort to use more gender neutral language and carried on talking. It was a small self-correction and a glimpse at the conflicted feelings stirred up by one of the most common greetings in the English language. Guys is an easygoing way to address a group of people, but to many it's a symbol of exclusion, a word with an originally male meaning that is frequently used to refer to people who don't consider themselves guys. Can we talk about reclaiming words? Because it seems like in one way there are plenty of words like slut or bitch that have been reclaimed in some way, yet we cannot reclaim words like guys but have to drop them entirely and find a new word. It's interesting how that has worked out and how it's been selective in my opinion. But anyway, let's keep going. My coworker is one of many who have started editing themselves in response to this exclusion. In the course of reporting this story, I heard from teachers who wanted a better way to get students' attention, an ice cream scooper who wanted a better way to greet customers, and a debate coach who specifically encourages to use y'all. These are all representatives of a broad coalition of people who have contemplated and often gone through with excising guys from their vocabularies. There are, of course, plenty of people, including many women, who have no problem problem being addressed as guys, me, think the word has evolved to be entirely gender neutral and don't see a reason to change their usage, me. But others aren't so sure. I think there's a really serious and welcome reconception of gender lines and relationships between sex and gender going on, says John Mc. Porter, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to say that name carefully, who teaches linguistics at Columbia University and has written several books about language. He says, something has crested in particular over about the past 10 years, something that has people examining their everyday communications. In my reporting, I heard from several people who said the word is particularly troubling for trans and gender non-conforming people. As a transgender woman, I consciously began trying to stop using guys some years ago, says Brad Ward, a college counselor at a high school in Athens in California. She added, when I'm included with a group that is called guys, there's some pain since it takes me back to my male days in a way that I'd rather not go. So I'm sorry that there's some pain for this person. I genuinely am. Like I don't wish pain on anyone in per Actually, I do wish pain on some people, but not not here, okay? I am genuinely sorry that she's in pain when she hears that, but at the same time, we can't just change things because people's feelings are hurt. Like I said, feelings cannot dictate everything all the time, you know? Like, maybe in your group of friends, you decide that you're not gonna use the term guys anymore, but to make this an overarching rule that everyone should abide to because there are a few people that are offended seems a little bit much. This crowd of guys objectors is not alone historically. People have been resisting the term for decades and perhaps the most passionate opponent of the word is Cheryl Kleinman, a former professor of sociology at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. In a 2002 essay in the journal Qualitative Sociology, she wrote about the problem with the male default terms such as chairman, congressman, and mankind. Kleinman saw them together as another indicator and more importantly, a reinforcer of a system which man in the abstract and men in the flesh are privileged over women. She reserved a special disapproval for you guys, which she considered the most insidious, the most insidious Insidious, okay, of these phrases, with the help of former students, made a small card that anyone could print out, for instance, leave behind at a restaurant to communicate their dislike of the term to an employee who had used it. When you're talking to a group of customers, gender doesn't really matter, so why not replace you guys with you all, or folks, or y'all, it reads in part. Indeed, why not? The problem for those who want to ditch guys is that their language doesn't present them with many versatile replacements. English lacks a standard gender neutral second person plural pronoun like the Spanish ustedes or the German can't pronounce. The alternative to guys tend to have downsides of their own folks, inclusive and warm but a little affected and forced. Friends, fine in social contexts, strange at work. People, too often pushing and personal. 
team, its sense of camaraderie wears out with constant use. One might cobble together with a mix of pronouns to deploy in different scenarios, but no one term can do it all. Which brings us to y'all, which seems to be the alternative with the most passionate backers. It has many of the necessary features to be heir to guys, inviting inclusive monosyllabic, but what holds it back is its informality, as well as its regional associations which many don't know how to handle. This essay goes on because there are examples from other people and you know, you got the idea. I will link it because I don't want to make a 20 hour video. <sighs> Is this really something we need to take issue with? Like historically, apparently people have been taking issue with it and we've seen how well it's worked out considering that that essay was in 2002 and we're still saying the most insidious thing of guys. I think that this is a non-issue. I mean, if we were living in a world that had no problems, maybe we could talk about this and it would still be ridiculous, honestly. But it just feels like another one of those times where people are screaming over nothing and in the end, if you don't like hearing that term, like I said, tell your friends, tell whoever, but to expect everyone to adjust to it just because you have a certain feeling about it, it's not realistic and honestly, if you're so used to doing it and if such a large group of people is so used to doing it, it takes a while to let go of a habit, especially a speech pattern. I know because there are certain words that I try not to use, uh, mostly curse words that just happen to come out, you know? So it's not that easy to change and I think it's a ridiculous question to ask, you know? As much as I can understand that it's based in manhood because guys, you know, has the masculine uh, reference, because now I feel like it is gender neutral, honestly. I don't see what the problem is there. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. You guys can let me know. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this. Is it really that insidious? And thank you to my patrons, as always. Now let's get right into the fan art.